The global retail market is expected to double from $20 trillion in 2020 to $40 trillion by 2030. Retailers who want to stay on top of their game are turning to artificial intelligence, which promises to use data to quickly optimize store layout plans. OmniStream is a retail store planning and automation startup leveraging AI to improve the customer shopping experience while increasing sales. And before OmniStream was in the picture, how did retailers, and how do retailers that don't use it today, approach the design of planograms? For someone coming from finance, this is always this always blows my mind. It's a completely manual process. Even and so they're using intuition, their experience, and just sort of applying that? I'm sure they would describe it in, in a fancier, more eloquent way, but to a large extent, that's it. And not only that, the actual process of planning, it's manual drag and drop, which means it's thousands and thousands of hours to create mediocre outcomes that might not even fit in stores. So this leads to not the right products, not the right quantity, and quite a lot of waste. So Wendy, how is OmniStream using artificial intelligence to help retailers build better planograms? Our idea isn't necessarily to 100% automate everything. We actually don't build it as a black box. We build it as something that generates a whole bunch of mud maps so that the planners can see, does this work for my store? Does this work to my strategy? Then after they approve everything, we then go and actually optimize for supply chain and, and man hours. If they said they wanted to optimize for profit or sales, it actually runs all of those scenarios so that the human can choose. But recommenders using artificial intelligence are becoming a bigger and bigger, bigger part of purchasing processes and decisions. And so how do you figure out where to draw that line? It's an ethical question against business margin. Uh, it's also a question of choice, right? So as a retailer, if you don't give the consumer exactly what they want... Right, they're going to figure that out. Yeah, they're going to figure out there's other places to go. So there's only so much and so far you can push them. Wendy, what does the future of the shopping experience look like? Is it a hybrid with augmented reality? Is it autonomous shopping? What can we expect? So we've seen that there's been an increase in special diets. So vegans want specific foods. They don't want to have to think too hard or accidentally pick up something with meat. And of course, there's also an increase in allergies. So we think in the future, even physical shopping will have a layer of like augmented reality or some sort of personalization that allows consumers to actually see exactly what it is that they can eat, can't eat, and what it is for them. There's no reason you can't actually have a planogram for a shopper of one. So using our software, we think of all of these sensors, we think of all of these data touch points as just a way to actually better give the consumer satisfaction in what they want. What are all the inputs that you take in today from an IoT perspective, data perspective, to make OmniStream solution work? I think this shocks people a lot, but actually a lot of it just comes from better attribution of the product itself. Currently, retailers rely on large teams of humans to create attributes for products. So a lot of our algo is inputs on products. Some of it are inputs on geography. So what's nearby? What is your consumer or what is the shopper thinking about when they walk past your store? When you think about technologies like augmented reality, yeah. how far away are we from that entering the shopping experience? I, I don't think it's as far as you think, but the unknown unknown will actually be around change management within the enterprise. That's going to be quite a big challenge, yeah, for, I mean, especially for smaller retailers. Yeah, actually smaller retailers tend to have shorter lead times on change management. When you think about retailers having an, both an online and offline or in-store experience, is there room for OmniStream's artificial intelligence in a planogram for the digital store experience? Oh, absolutely. We always thought that our entryway is that, hey, there's a lot of picking from stores now. It actually changes the way your planogram should work. Why doesn't traditional software know anything about this? So yeah, there's no reason why planograms don't exist just because you're picking from a store. And we also operate with dark stores, which is the far extreme. Meaning stores without customers. Yes, absolutely. Because even those need planning because it's about pick time. It's about space and efficiency. So the idea of assortment, right assortment for your space, the space which the store serves, that will always be there.